In the Battle of Wurtingen Imperial French forces led by Marshals Wurki Murat and Jean Lannis attacked a small Austrian corps commanded by Feldmarschall Lieutenant Franz Zaver von Offenberg. This action, the first battle of the Ulm campaign, resulted in a clear French victory. Wurtingen lies 28 kilometers northwest of Augsburg. The combat was fought during the War of the Third Coalition, part of the Napoleonic Wars. Background Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte had launched his 200,000-man Grand Army across the Rhine. This huge mass of maneuver wheeled to the south and crossed the Danube River to the east of General Karl Freier Mack von Lieberich's concentration at Ulm. Unaware of the force bearing down on him, Mack stayed in place as Napoleon's corps spread south across the Danube, slicing across his lines of communication with Vienna forces. Murat's advance guard included the heavy cavalry divisions of General of Division Louis Klein and General of Division Marc Antoine de Beaumont, plus General of Brigade Antoine Le Salle's Light Cavalry Brigade, a total of 42 squadrons. These were supported by eight battalions of General of Division Nicolas Audenot's Grenadier Division and three battalions of the 28th Light Infantry Regiment. Offenberg's command included 26 battalions, 20 cavalry squadrons and 24 guns. Feldmarschall Lieutenant Maximilian de Bailey's division included infantry regiments Kaunitz near 20, Archduke Ludwig near 8, Franjo Jelacic near 62, a brigade of four grenadier battalions, Cuirassier Regiment Albert near 3 and Chevaulegger Regiment Rosenberg near 6, Feldmarschall Lieutenant Prince Friedrich Franz Zaver of Hohenzollern Heckingen's division was made up of infantry regiments Spork near 25, Wattenberg near 38, Roos Greitz near 55, Stuart near 18, Hussar Regiment Palatine near 12 and Chevaulegger Regiment Latour near 4. Battle Apparently because his troops were surprised, Offenberg seems to have only brought nine battalions and one squadron, about 5,500 men, into action. There are conflicting accounts. One historian talks about individual battalions being broken by cavalry or surrounded and forced to surrender. Another writer says that Austrian grenadiers formed in a massive square which resisted cavalry charges until the French brought up Audenot's grenadiers. French losses are stated as 319 killed and wounded. The Austrians suffered 400 killed and wounded, plus 2,900 men and six cannons captured. One historian says 2,000 Austrians were captured, cut off from Vienna. The Austrians retreated westward toward their base at Ulm. Commentary One historian remarks, it is not clear why 